Welcome guys, as we know some of the old Bill have absolutely loved the new powers that our government gave them last year. In many places they've acted well beyond the policing by consent this country claimed to have. And in fact have actually shown themselves to be an overzealous politicised force of thugs. I mean, letting idiots block major motorways while arresting a person in Waitrose for not wearing a face nappy is just one example of that. But in general, we know they love cracking down on people who post spicy shit on Twitter or those who protest for medical freedom while ignoring actual crimes that are literally rampant everywhere. It's actually becoming a running joke in this country that the police are more likely to arrest you for being mean on Twitter than they are to catch the two crackheads who just burgled your rouse. And as you know, in the last 542 days of 14 days to flatten the curve, we've seen the old Bill go into power trip overdrive when it comes to arresting people for nothing. In fact, the last I checked, all or most of the arrests under the stupid laws passed last year have actually ended up being thrown out. That just proves what a clown show not only our government is, but the idiot police officers enforcing this stupidity. This story we have here though is another example of that and the bullshit that people have been dealing with for this past year and a half. But in this case at least she is actually fighting back and given her stated medical exemption she should win because the Equality Act 2010 is pretty clear on medical discrimination. In fact it's actually why the government's website tells businesses that a person can self-certify their medical exemption for most things because discrimination laws are a minefield and can get expensive in court. Asking someone about their medical exemptions can actually be considered discrimination. This is why they tell you to just let people self-certify and say nothing. But the article here itself actually states an IT consultant was detained in a prison cell for two hours after she was arrested for failing to wear a face mask in Waitrose. Bit of a life lesson there for you guys, you don't shop in Waitrose full fucking stop. Juliet Johnson, 55, argued she was exempt from wearing a covering when challenged by a manager and security guard at the supermarket in Chichester, West Sussex, on February 25th. However, she was later confronted by two police officers and arrested over a refusal to put on a mask, which was required at the time under government rules. Yep, you'll be arrested for putting on a mask while shopping in this clown world, which is obviously such a great use of police money and time, I'm sure you would agree. It goes on though, Miss Johnson was taken to Chichester Police Station where she claims she was strip searched and held in custody for two hours. Which obviously has me saying, wow, you strip searched someone for not wearing a mask, it seems a little bit over the top to me. But arresting her for not wearing a mask is batshit crazy in my mind anyway, so I shouldn't really be surprised. It states though she was later released without charge but is now suing Sussex Police for wrongful arrest, false imprisonment, assault and disability discrimination. This after she had proved to Waitrose staff that she did not need to wear a face mask as she suffers from an autoimmune disease which affects her breathing. That there obviously makes it medical discrimination but in all honesty a good few things stated in this article makes it sound like she could well win this in court. But I have got to say this whole thing reminds me of last year when Yorkshire police are flying drones around trying to catch people walking their dogs or dying lakes black to stop people wanting to visit them, the crazy bastards. I mean, imagine actually being a copper and doing that shit because some idiots told you to do it. Or shit, at this point we can just look over to Australia that is making North Korea look like a nice place for tourism in 2021, especially when you're comparing it with Australia right now. They actually have helicopters hovering over the beach and shit like that, with power mad cretins standing on TV demanding the population silent compliance with their deranged diktats as they put them out. I mean, them lunatics there are actually making Boris Johnson look like a freedom-loving libertarian, which we know he ain't. Now, back to the UK itself, apparently this woman is also suing Waitrose for their part in all this bullshit, but the details on that are scarce at the moment. While obviously the police have denied all liability alongside them so the civil courts will have to sort this one out. Obviously though it shouldn't even be a thing at this point but welcome to Clown World 2021, the longest running joke that ain't fucking funny. For now though guys that's all I've got for you on this story and the batshit crazy world that's going on around it. Remember to check out the links down below to support the channel on all other platforms and I'll see you in the next one which will be coming shortly.